Alright guys, uh, I'm here with the next tutorial. Um, we're going to start out with particle effects, which uh, I, I'm not a fan of. Um, it just seems like they're very poorly implemented and a little bit janky, but um, maybe I'm just using them wrong. <laughs> I don't know. As far as I can tell, I'm using them right though. It wasn't very easy to get some information on these, but um, go ahead and hit the particle editor here, and you'll notice right off the bat that it, when you hit the particle editor, it puts one right in your screen. Um, a particle, like, right in the center of your viewport. Um, and we can go ahead and click on it right there, and it's on the move, so we can move this back and forth, move it up and down, same old thing. And we're going to look at this, and it's going to say uh, on this right-hand side here, the emitter and particle. So the emitter is ember emitter. And this is infinite loop, so that means that it's going to stay there. If it wasn't, there would be, uh, we'd be able to give it a life, and it would be very short. So, um, it's not even working at all now, but, um, let's go ahead and put it back on infinite loop, though. Let's see what happens if we... Hmm. I'm jumping all, whatever. <laughs> As I said, it seems pretty janky, but all right, that's ember emitter. Um, uh, you can change several several things like the amount, um, the amount random, um, speed. You can speed it up to make it faster. Uh, as you can see, the whizzing away now. Um, I'm going to change this to a different one. Um, a smoke emitter. We're not going to save changes. As you can see, this one's a little easier to see. So, if we undo infinite loop, still doesn't do it. Who knows? Whatever. Infinite loop. That's smoke. You can change the speed and see it flies out. Um, orient to movement direction. I believe that's if your player is moving, you can it uh, orients to that certain direction. But uh, you can see all that in the garage gaming uh, docs what all of these do so see the spread That'll, uh, how far it'll spread out <coughs> depth you can change as well uh, the particles one is somewhat interesting it shows it allows you to add another particle you can add two of them you can add mist and obviously those two aren't really meant to go together but clear that out blend type is how it uh, blends into the scenery you can do additive subtractive and I'm not sure what that one is actually but <coughs> usually normal is enough for me uh, if we go back to particle that chooses smoke. That's essentially it. That's what the actual like uh, texture is. Texture map. You can see we can pull in from I believe art uh, shapes. I believe particles, and you can see flame, flare, all that spark, wake, water drip, all that sort of thing. Um, you can change the initial speed. Uh, the acceleration. That's how quickly it moves. You have to add the initial speed up to more than zero, but um, you can change the amount of gravity, your drag, spin. See how that changes the spin on it. Let's go ahead and do zero. Um, you can change the colors in here if you wanted a different color smoke. It's a little bit, a little bit darker. Um, sizes, uh, those will do. Those will obviously change the size of the different emitters or particles. So you can have more of a cloud than a steady stream. And the time, I believe, changes the duration. 
so you can change that. So that's essentially um, all those are on the docs of Garage Gaming of the exact specifics. Um, most of those you probably won't even have to mess with, uh, at least not very much. So, um, but you'll notice here if you go back to the world editor, you're like, oh hey, I I just changed that and now it's gone. Um, what you have to do is go back to your emitter, and I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to something else. We're not gonna save. Not gonna save. Mm. Let's do a flame emitter. So this is your basic flame emitter um, that I modified not very well. Uh, in fact, I think I added this one manually, but um, either way, obviously, it's just what we're using for example. So let's say we actually want this to stay. The only way I can determine is uh, shift dragging. So we'll shift drag this. I hate this. Um, as you can see, it's now a smoke emitter uh, for some reason. What, what I think we have to do is if I remember correctly hold on, let me go ahead and delete all this alright, go back to emitter flame emitter hit the save button shift drag it and there you go so um, for some reason it, it doesn't seem to work right away so you have to go back to world editor go back to particle editor hit save and now you'll see when we go back to the world editor this one will remain and that will remain in our scene so we can go ahead and rename that to flame emitter you're like oh great you know I have a nice little flame emitter let me go ahead and drag that somewhere on the world map And um, well, we'll cover that one later. But all right, so you have your flame emitter out, and you're like, well, let's go ahead and create another particle here. So we go ahead and choose our gunfire smoke. Sure. Um, and we decide, hey, you know what? It's going to come out infinitely. So we go ahead and do a shift drag. Oh, hey, look it's the flame thing again so you're gonna go ahead and go back to the world view you're gonna delete this one because you don't want it and you're gonna go back to this you're gonna actually we're gonna, we're gonna change a different one let's go ahead and do no so that's a teleport emitter right there then we're gonna hit save then we're gonna click on it, get the move, shift, drag, oh hey look at that, it's back to that again. So, what we have to do is go back to your scene, delete, delete, go back, go here, go here, shift, drag. There you go. It just, it's really janky the way that seems to work, so. <clears throat> so now that you have one of them that you need, you can go back here and you can name this teleport emitter You're like all right that's great and then you drag that down into your map all right and then you're like let's go here and hit F11 and hey look teleport emitter. That's good. You like that. That looks great. I run over here and you're like, what? what? What is this? This doesn't look right. That emitter is not working correctly. It looks horrible. It doesn't look like actual fire from some of these directions. So, um, that's usually a blend issue. So you're like, well, you know what? This is what I'll do. I will go back and I will select flame emitter. Let me go ahead and change the free camera. You're like, okay, I have my flame emitter. Let's go ahead and change it. Let's go back to this. You're like, oh, wait, uh, okay, whatever. That added a new one. That's what it usually does. But we're selected flame emitter. But guess what? 
nothing shows up. Absolutely nothing. You can't, as far as I can tell, you can't edit these once they're placed. Like, that's it. Um, I tried going back into Flame Emitter, and I thought, well, maybe it's because everything under Flame Emitter uh, is the same. So if we change one, it'll change all. So I went, and I, then I went back, and I went back, and I went to Save, and I went to Flame, and we're going to go ahead and go to Normal for the that. Then I did a Save. Then I went back to this. And then I did a, because uh, that should change the issue. Um, then I did an F11. And still doesn't quite look right. Uh, apparently it doesn't change any ones that have already been laid. So what you'd have to do is uh, go back to free camera and then go back to your particle editor. And that's going to give you a flame one and it's going to be normal. And so we're going to go back to this actually, delete our flame emitter and go back to this, click on this right here, hit save, shift drag back here and hit F11. Okay, still doesn't look right. Should I change something in here? I think I need to save this. That's probably the issue. Alright, let's see. Alright. Now let's try that. That might be it. Okay. Uh... Yeah, that might be a little better. I think that's probably more what we're looking for. But, uh, as you can see, I'm not too impressed with this particle system. I mean, it, it does have some powerful features, but it just seems like it's so so janky. Um, I should be able to just edit one that I've already placed, and I still don't like it. Uh, I think it's still, I think it's better than what it was, so. Alright, well, that's the basics of the particle system. Um, you can, uh, it is very powerful in changing certain particle effects, like I could change a color, I could do a, a bunch of different things on this, and maybe we'll do a more advanced tutorial later when I have time to look a, more, a little bit more into it, but uh, that's the particle editor. 